hi all welcome welcome to my channel so in today's uh, session we will understand how we can create a pipeline and use the copy activity to move file from one location uh, to another location in the azure blob storage so in earlier session in the last session we have discussed how we can use the copy data tool same thing we will use using the copy activity in the uh, in the area inside the pipeline so if you see in my screen here i have uh, the prerequisite is that i uh, we need a uh, blob storage and there this is the file we wanted to move the file from input folder to output folder if you see this is the input folder input folder i have already a file input uh, imply data csv dot uh, csv okay this is the name of the file and this is nothing but a my containers okay and i wanted to move the file to output in previous session i have already moved the file so file would be available here so what i am going to do i need to select it and delete this file so okay so it will be deleted if you go back to your storage account here i have input folder here i have a file but in output folder i don't have a file so i wanted to move that file from this location to this location using the copy activity okay using the pipeline so earlier we we uh, 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 we use the copy data tool which is nothing but a, like this okay this is my adf instance uh, user interface so right now today we will see how we can create a pipeline so if you go for for creating a pipeline you have to go to the azure data uh, factory studio and uh, when you click on studio then this interface will be open for you then you have to go to the author tab click on this pencil icon okay here yeah, earlier i have created a copy data tool using so this pipeline is already been created so what we can do just go ahead and delete it okay i just i wanted to create a new pipeline so if you see here there is no pipeline now so to create a new pipeline you have to click on this plus sign here you, you can see we can create a pipeline you can create a data set data flow power query copy data tool you can also create use the copy data tool from here this we have already covered in the last session today we are going to create a new pipeline so click on this okay so if you see the right hand side this is uh, this is the property of the pipeline where we have to provide the pipeline name so actually the uh, abbreviation you have to use pl for pipeline and copy employee data so i'm giving this name whatever the description you wanted to that you can give it here and just click on it to hide this portion just click on this to hide this portion as well now this is my canvas where i have to uh drag and drop my activities and do the required uh, things so here if you see the copy activities come inside the category of move and transform because this copy activity is moving the data and transform it if required so transformation is required whenever necessary whenever required otherwise this is the very simple thing we wanted to move the data only so what we need to do we use drag and drop this option okay this activity and we have uh, now uh, the moment you drag it you can see as per the activity the settings are available here which you have to fill so what is the name so this very first activity what do you wanted to give the name so i wanted to move, give the name copy employee suppose i wanted to give the name of so whatever the name i have written here it came here if you see here copy employee data okay if i give see okay so this way should start and end with a letter so this is fine and if you wanted to give description this is fine timeout means uh, uh, timeout when when you wanted to uh, timeout uh, seven times i mean uh, in seven uh, i mean timeout is something like if it, it got stuck so when you wanted to be get it timeout okay if you got failed how many times it will retry so for that okay i did not want it to retry it will go into retry and if you selected the retry then what is the difference uh, interval what is the in, uh, gap between the both retry is nothing but a retry interval uh, seconds okay so if you go this is just a overview if you go to the source here we have to provide the source and here we have to provide the sync setting so source is the location from where you wanted to move the data to connect with the source you have to create a new data set if you see here we i need to create a new data sets for that i don't have a new data set so i what i need to do i need to click on new button okay and if you know this is source is residing in our blob storage so my the type of my st storage is selected data store we have a number of data stores if you see here these are the number of data stores so my data store is nothing but a blob storage 
ओके हेयर एंड my file is csv file so i select the format of my file okay now i need to provide the name of my data set so if you see uh, the name of the data set start with ds i mean this is the uh, abbreviation which microsoft recommend you can give any name you want it so data set start with data set and employees say employee source so i have given the, i have given this name now before uh, the data set is actual the location where i wanted to put the data from and the link service is actual kind of a connection string to which location you wanted to connect with so linked service i wanted to create i suppose i don't have a link service there is an option to create a new link service so i wanted to create a new in previous session i have already connected but this session i wanted to show you how we can, what are the settings that we need to fill to create a new link service so click on new now another blob storage will come and it ask me to create a new link service so let's say ln and azure blob storage i wanted to connect uh, my blob storage azure blob storage so this is the link service for this okay uh, integration runtime i you i wanted to use the same if you have created another integration so all the integration runtime will be appear here appear here so i'll choose this one authentication type is fine i select uh, my subscription now here you have to put your blob storage if you see here this is my blob storage okay account 01 so account 0 if you see here this is my same account so i select it okay now i need to test my connection whether the whatever the settings i have given to connect with the that uh, storage account okay this is to connect with storage account link services to connect to this storage account data set is setting is to connect with input folder inside that so there is a difference between in link service and the data set people got often confused data uh, data set is basically one one step inside of the link service you can say like that okay so connection is successful now click on create now my link service is, uh, is created connection to that location is created now i need to see here whatever the name i have given to the link service it appears here this is my data set and this is my link service now it is asking me uh, to give the file path which file you wanted to move to so let me specify the so i wanted to move file from input folder and which file let me select this this file i wanted to move to okay click on uh, this is all fine now click on okay okay so source has been established if you see source is established and this red tick is uh, is gone which is coming earlier like this uh, sync one okay so this uh, red icon is gone that means uh, we have set up all the source data set as well as the connection string that is link service and we have given the format of file as well now go to the another thing that is sync so similarly we have to create a data set for the sync as well so we have to choose the data store uh, we know that the blob storage is only uh, our destination so select this one go continue the file this is the format which we wanted to move to okay we wanted to push uh, put the file in the same format okay so click on continue here i need to give the name of our data set so let me give employee data destination okay so this is the name of my data set linked service linked service would be same because linked service is used to connect to this source uh, to connect to uh to your service to connect to your storage account so b at the b at the so uh, data set source data set or b at the destination data set it would be same so link service would be same so we do not need to create another link service for that okay we can use the ln uh, azure's blob storage here you have to just put your location where you wanted to uh, push the data to so i wanted to select i wanted to move the data to output folder so just select it click on okay so here sync information file extension if you see it is saying .txt i want it to be .csv let's say okay and if you go and you wanted to see the schemas 
see here uh, uh, it is saying that for every copy duration there would be a charge so it is just giving us uh, the notification that for copy duration it will be taking as a 0.25 uh, data integration unit per hour so whenever you will do that and uh, uh, you are done with that you just uh, delete that pipeline not required at all uh, it's, it's not uh, i mean uh, you can keep it as it uh, no need to delete it but the thing is that whenever you copy it that time it will be chargeable okay but it is very minimal it's not uh, that much if you wanted to have a big data or so many things right see uh, here uh, the data integration unit is auto that means it is automatically uh, taken like how much for your depending on the data volume depending on the file how much data integration unit is required that much data integration unit microsoft will provide for your uh, task okay if you wanted to uh, add if you wanted to add more di unit so you can add it from here if you can see here 2 4 8 16 32 okay even numbers are there then if you wanted to cop there there is a degree of copy parallelism that means if you wanted to move the data in parallel so that also you can uh, do from here uh, earlier also i say about the fault tolerance okay you can uh, so configure your fault tolerance for the copy activity we have a logging we have staging so all those stuff you can do it but right now i keep it simple and not select any of it i just uh, configure source and sync and just fine now i what i wanted to test this pipeline so how i can give whenever i you click uh, on the canvas in the white area that setting will go okay so don't confuse if you click on the copy activity then only for related to that copy activity all the settings will come when you click on this white canvas then the pipeline level settings will come so at the pipeline level here you have in the pipeline only one activity in actual scenario we can have multiple activities in the pipeline so you when you click on the white area in the canvas area then you will get you can create a parameters at the pipeline level variables at the pipelines level but when you play, click on the spe specific activity then you will get the settings of that specific activity be it a copy activity if activity for each activity okay so like that so here uh, how to test it you have to click on the debug so this is nothing but a manually uh, running your pipeline so let me click on it and let's wait for uh, let's see the pipeline is if you scroll it up and you can see this pipeline is running this blue icon says that it is running it is under the queue now we have to refresh it there is a refresh button and it got succeeded see so it got succeeded and it took only eight second okay to execute using the auto integration runtime this has been and for each pipeline there is a run id so this run id is showing here i'll tell you what is the importance of this run id and how we can use it in uh, uh, in next sessions so there are a lot of things to learn so be in touch and uh, keep follow all the videos one by one so i am gradually and uh, slowly uh, go to the very basic videos to the advanced level videos this is the copy activity which i showed you is very very basic there is no settings i have choose there is no degree of parallelism there is no diu unit i have set up there is no other integration runtime i have created so whatever is available by the microsoft uh, uh, in the in this adf okay by default all those settings we have choose and we have sele uh, selected those settings and we have uh, make our file move from source to destination so see here the pipeline ran now we have to go back to our portal i mean uh, in the azure uh, storage account and we have to see whether the file has been moved or not so we have to check it go to the container here click on output folder here okay see the file has been moved you see here so this is the file has been moved if you wanted to see the content just click on it and you can see the file is available here okay file is uh, present file has been moved so this way this is a very basic pipeline that we have created if you go back to your uh, uh, what do you call uh, you have to uh, expand it and see pl copy employee data pipeline has been created if you wanted to publish you can publish it all okay so if you uh, if until and unless you will not publish it will not save in your under your pipeline activity okay what is the publish all what is the mean of the publish all i will tell you in the next session that what is the meaning of it why there is an icon if you have created and run it still why it is not saved here okay so this is the i'll tell you but right now what whatever i have created you have to publish it so that it will be available in the pipeline section okay so if you publish it so one pipeline and two data sets will be published.
so if you see deploy changes to the factory so what did it mean it means that whatever the things you have done you have created new pipeline i'm going to deploy everything in your uh, data factory the, the three resources one pipeline and two data source successfully published to the data factory so that means if you see here we have a data factory live mode and there is a second option set up code repository so if i set up the code repository then there are uh, different branches where we can push uh, push our uh, pipelines and at the last we will publish it to data factory live mode because we have not set up it so that's why at the very starting it wanted us to publish it to the data factory live mode so next time when i open the uh, adf instance i will be able to see my this pipeline in the next session okay so this way we can create a very simple pipeline uh, i would recommend you to parallelly please uh, start working on it create a subscription and uh, start uh, creating a projects then only you will be able to your basic concepts will be clear so i i will try to uh, help you out as much as possible okay thank you and happy learning guys